Hey guys, as you can see, I have my motorcycle suit on. And uh, I'm just gonna stand up so you guys can take a look at it. This is the chest protection. It's kind of done in a way so that it's formed for the body to be in this position. So obviously your handlebars are here, or here, or here. So your, your arms are already set up to be that way. You got shielding. There was supposed to be spinal protection, but it's just like a kind of a denser pad in the back. Um, and obviously, just for ventilation purposes and or putting on your gloves, tucking them underneath, you can open these up. Again, it's not, oh, it's got side pockets. So I have side pockets here. Not too big. Just enough for your iPod or phone. And if I unzip it. It's also been Velcroed for the helmet. Keep the air out. It's got an inner liner. And obviously an inner pocket. So again, you can have storage there. This side again, just the liner. So I guess that's, uh, you can take that in and out for cooler or warmer riding. It is zippered in the back here. I can reach it, there you go. See the zipper there. And that's supposed to hook into the pants right here. But I'll probably never do that. Again, you got pockets, which are very hard to get into. I will most likely never use those. And it's vented here, which I need to bring the camera down. So I'll do that in just a moment. Haha, <laughs> knew that would work. So ventilation, you've got your knee pads right here. And again, you got more ventilation for the calf right here. So all in all, it's a very well put together. So here's the leg. I haven't uh, broken it in yet. But you've got uh, right about here, this is an expansion for just stretching and whatnot. The bike, it, the bike motorcycle suit itself is pretty well designed. I ordered this because um, you have to measure your chest size to get your uh, the proper order. So I'll bring this up a little bit. And I measured my chest size to be about 42 inches. So I got the one above it. And uh, that goes from 42 to 44 inches. And I'm like, okay, that should be, because uh, the other one was a maximum of 42. So I chose the one, one step above. So at the minimum side, it was supposed to fit. It is very tight on me. I am wearing a hoodie, but it's not a very thick or anything hoodie. Um, but generally, you don't need a lot of mobility to ride a bike. Like you need to be able to do that or lean into the turn and stuff. So all in all, it's a decent quality motorcycle suit. And um, it looks like the Deadpool costume, which is also an added benefit. Hope you liked the video. And just a quick intro into uh, the motorcycle suit that I purchased. This is the first one I've ever bought in like this. And uh, I've had many leather jackets over the years. This seems to be a good cowhide raw leather. Good for protection and you're protected in your, your elbows and your knees. I uh, did say it had armored spinal protection, which it does not. So that's a bit of uh, false advertising. But other than that, it seems to be decent quality. I am very impressed with it. I probably, get, out of 10, I get a 7.5. <laughs> not that that matters, but it's a pass. Just barely. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And uh, I'll see you in my next one. Cheers.